How to crochet the magic circle. For this tutorial, you will need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Knit Out of the Box, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their 100% fair trade hand spun Afghani cashmere in the color dark brown. Step one, we're going to take the tail of our yarn and we're going to lay it over the palm of our hand with the tail facing down and we're going to wrap the yarn around our four fingers here. Okay, so remember we want the tail facing down, we're going to wrap from the bottom over the top. Step two, we're going to take our crochet hook and we're going to insert it right underneath both strands of yarn. Then we want to yarn over our hook and draw that yarn through the big loop that is around our fingers. For step three, we're going to yarn over again and we're going to draw that yarn through the loop that is on our hook. Now, we can remove the loop from our hand. And for step four, we're going to single crochet into the loop that we've created here. So we're just gonna draw our hook into the center, grab our yarn and draw it through, and then we'll yarn over and draw through both loops on our hook, so just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat the single crochet until we've created as many stitches as we need for our pattern. So I'm drawing into over both. Okay, and like so. All right, so we'll just continue doing the single crochet until we've cast on all of our stitches in our foundation row here. All right, so I've created eight single crochet stitches along our loop here, and now I'm ready to start creating our project. And the cool thing about this magic circle technique is we take the tail of our yarn right here, and then we're just gonna pull this tight, and it's gonna close up this loop really nicely. And then we can just continue, we can finish our round with a slip stitch into our first stitch here. Make sure that we're not grabbing our tail to crochet with. We wanna get the working yarn. Yarn over and draw through our first stitch here, which I've caught something extra. There we go, and then through the one on our hook and now we've got a really nice little, little loop to start working from the center with and we can even pull this a little bit tighter if we want so we've got a nice closed beginning and this is great for any motif that you're going to do like a granny square or a flower that you want to start from the center it's also really good for doing amigurumi projects when you're coming from the top down um, or if you want to make a hat from the top down or a shawl from the center out. There's lots of uses for this and uh, it's a great little technique for getting started from the center of your work and then you can just continue working along in the round as you normally would. And that's how we crochet the magic circle. Want more new stitch today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.